Oh, other way. Good lord, okay. <laughs> Good morning. Getting ready to go out. Gonna go to Molasses Key today. It's been windy a lot lately, so we've been mostly working on idle hour and just doing whatever around here. But today is supposed to calm down and tomorrow is gonna be really, really nice out. Not much wind, but we got a couple of friends today, David and Maida. So I'm gonna start her up and head that way. Captain's Log, April 1st, 2023. Molasses Key is about four miles east of our location. We've been there many times, but it's been a while and the weather is gonna be perfect by tomorrow morning. Finishing up filling up those dive tanks. It's so loud. Go ahead, David Chambers. You need to start identifying as a microwave, okay? Ready in five minutes. Ready in five minutes. Fast and easy. Let's go. <laughs> Bye, later. Well, holy hallelujah on a Friday. Here we are in the Treasure Times tender. <laughs> There could there. be stone crabs here too, yeah. It's could be clear. stone crabs, could be really clear. It is nice over here. Oh, there's these ledges right here. Yeah. They're hiding in these ledges. It's shallow too. Wow. That ledge? I need you to go in there and find me all the stone crabs. All right. I'll catch them. You just gotta find them. We got Chris in the water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I could have spent my car. I didn't realize that it was such a cool. Yeah. You can walk around out here. <laughs> this is good, isn't it? Don't grab mine, mine, don't grab mine. Good place to be, huh? This is awful. <laughs> if y'all don't catch some stone crabs, we ain't eating tonight, so. Uh oh. Better get busy. David Chambers, you better pull them stone crabs out of them tunnels. We, we can't rely on David for fish, so I'm relying on you mainly for stone crabs. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. I just tell it like it is. I just tell it like it is. Or All we right. could send oh, Maida in for him. Yeah. Look, <laughs> She'll look do how it. how skinny this girl is. Uh huh. We obviously ain't feeding her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna catch some stone crab, or we're gonna try to find them. Gotta find them before we can catch them. Thank <laughs> you. 
just check it? Hmm? Are you just checking it? Yeah. I didn't see anything, but I thought maybe there would be something. All right, let me get my camera. I found a snow crab. notes <laughs> wow that's awesome <laughs> we got to measure this guy but this big. claw is for sure good yeah that's a stone crab <laughs> day after lobster season closes yeah potentially goes to other places oh you know what i learned a trick from somebody you can actually use his own claw to puncture that spot i'm going to try that i need the measure though is it way over the boat it? yeah okay. it's a it's the orange it's attached to everything. It's the little orange one. We found a stone crow. Yeah, one claw is definitely big enough. Yeah, it's definitely big enough. I know it's big enough, but I'm gonna try this. I learned a trick, because I don't have my Wii belt. Watch this. Oh, come on. Let's see, oh, there he goes. See that? That was pretty cool. You can actually use their own claw to puncture inside the elbow and remove the claw. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we just, we're not sure if this claw is good. This one is a female. The reason you could tell she is got a purse? Her, her tail is really wide. And if I get my finger under there, that's her tail. And if, if she was carrying eggs, she would carry them right here. But she doesn't have any eggs. So we're allowed to take her claw to eat it. Very delicious. And you could take you could take both claws, but we're gonna see if this claw is big enough. And she could still feed herself by using her feet to scoop food in her mouth. So that's it. That's a beautiful specimen of a stone crab. We'll let her sit in the water here. <laughs> So this one is probably good too. See that that little knob right there on the bottom? Yep. That's where you so measure it. Yep. As long as it's past the little see how see how it's bigger? This one's good too. Yippee! Yeah. Woohoo! So you so the way I was telling you how you remove it is you you just puncture that soft part. So and I can actually use the claw to do it, see, watch. And she'll let it go. Oh, yeah, oh, see there? So I didn't even puncture it. I didn't even puncture it. She let it go by herself. It's like the most regenerative fishing in the world. So Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah. This one, I, I punctured this one on this side and she let it go. Yeah, right there. Okay, hold it. Yeah. Wow. But when you're done with her, just put her back in her hole. Can you fish her a bit? She, like, she can't hurt you now. <laughs> wow. Where's her hole? Where's well, it? the Where? stone crab, I was going to tell you how to catch it if you want. The stone crab will sit in the hole sideways like that. Yeah. Put your hand over it like that. Don't put your thumb down. Keep your thumb up. <laughs> and you you easy, you just slowly like pull it out. out. Once it's out, keep it pinned to the bottom. Then you grab the claws. Then you can grab the claws. Yeah. Okay. You want to go put her back in her hole? <laughs> in your hole, little stone crab. <laughs> put them in the bag. All right, well, that's two. Well, that's, that's two claws. Can they do that 10 more times? Is the question. Let's see what they got.
just lying. So I'm out for it. That's referred to as a day killer. Day 21 since the blast. Nobody suspected anything. The Russians and the Chinese had been planting missiles in Cuba and nobody knew it. After the whole thing with the president and the administration going down and the conflict with Russia, the first nukes came over, bombed all the infrastructure. We just happened to get lucky and get out and escape to the Keys in the boat and kind of isolated out here. But all the big cities north of here are all gone. So let's see how it goes. Things are still calm here for the moment, but as the supplies dwindle on, things could get sketchy. Today is in fact April Fool's Day, so that's not really what happened. But we've often thought if there really was some kind of catastrophe, and if supplies were scarce, at least we would be able to feed ourselves with the abundance of sea life to hunt and the skills necessary to do so. The Florida Keys stretch on for miles, and some places are very secluded. One could easily find refuge and be able to live off the land if necessary. Well, we're back. At least, Maida and I are back. Mike and David are out there doing something sketchy, so they say. I've been looking, I'm looking for them for like the past 20 minutes and I haven't seen them. Who knows? <laughs> What did you get? Show me. David, show me the fish. Whoop whoop. <laughs> what is it? A yellow jack. A yellow jack. Nice. Yay. We got Good dinner. Job. I lost my tip. Just before I shot him, I lost my tip. And you shot him with no tip? I shot him with no tip, but I stoned him. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Must have been a good shot. <laughs> right in yeah. Don't don't hurt yourself. Oh my god. <laughs> good dive, good dive. <laughs> Made it. Is he crazy? Yeah, it's Hulk. He's crazy. <laughs> He's crazy. There's a lot of birds there tonight. <laughs> Lots of birds staying tonight. We got a neighbor tonight. Right there. A neighbor because they're gonna be staying us staying out overnight with us tonight uh, but we got the whole island to ourselves and I missed the sunset <laughs> I missed the sunset I was in taking a shower so we're gonna stay the night here David's out back filleting up some fish Mike's filling tanks it's kind of noisy back there so that's why I'm up here what those are all fillets it was a successful afternoon oh. spearfishing trip to the bridge. Nice. Very awesome. Oh, you got some beefies hanging up. See, whenever you invite someone who's taller than the average person, if anybody watching ever comes out here, watch for the booby traps. Yes, I told you she's a pirate. Booby traps. You got some beefies yeah, and hooks hanging up. Straight right there. If, Your I, head if I was to walk bit. straight, I would get a face full of miniature yeah, micro hooks. Yeah, you I'd be careful with those hooks hanging down, the little ones, they'll just getting stuck in your Well, head. if you would have said that yesterday, <laughs> then I would still be uh, not in pain. bird oh my gosh a bird just landed up there a little like blackbird looking thing he's probably looking for food look at him he's on the <laughs> he's on the the throttle he wants to drive the boat what you doing up there little bird there you go there he is <laughs> that's too funny 
He wants food. I'm gonna feed my little friend bird out there. Look here, birdie. Oh, look, he's hungry. Look, he got him a piece of bread. <laughs> Where'd you go, little bird? Oh, you're right there. How are you enjoying your bread? It's your breakfast. You like your breakfast? <laughs> That's a fresh, fresh Publix roll. Oh, you are cute. Keeping your eye on me. <laughs> I didn't know if I would like sleep on the boat or not. I've never done it before, like where it was moving. What, you like sleeping on the boat? Yeah, it's like I'd be rocked to sleep by my mommy. Uh-huh. <laughs> rock a bye baby. <laughs> I slept good. I can't believe you're putting on video. I didn't even, I, I didn't even put my makeup on yet. No? No. Put your makeup on? <laughs> didn't even fix your hair yet. Your hair is already fixed. Your hair always looks cool. It's like Thanks. straight up. <laughs> what is that? Oh, oh you're kidding! Did I lose it because I didn't have your eye pass enough? No, when he came up, he shook his head. Alright, what, what happened to that hook? I can't see it. Well, I'm down there unloading Hold the dinghy. Yeah, look at that hook. The rod just... <laughs> and, uh... Captain Mike's hook, he gave me an aluminum hook for April Fool's Day, it just bent right straight. <laughs> <laughs> what do we have on there? I, I think we think it was a tarpon, big old tarpon. Yeah. He jumped up, shook his head, and he was gone. Oh yeah, he was it wasn't long that he was on the line. Sad day. That would have been my first tarpon too. Yep. Well maybe we'll catch another one later. That was cray cray. I know. Alright now though, we're gonna go under back under the bridge, see if we could spear some more of those yellow jacks. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> out troll some lines for a little bit and then probably make our way back in that bridge diving was quite fun here we go Thank you. 
False alarm. <laughs> Never mind, not false alarm. Might be a Spanish mackerel. That's a good eating fish in this kind of trouble. Yeah, when you're reeling those, you gotta guide the line one way or the other. Oh yeah. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Party foul. Chaos. Oh my gosh, chaos. <laughs> that's how you do it. That's, that's, a nice, that's a nice Spanish mackerel. Awesome. Good job, babe. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Let me get you a bit. Oh yeah. <laughs> Let's do it again. Yeah, that's a nice one. Another fish on. Good job. Nice. Yeah. <coughs> awesome catches and plus we got barracuda. Woo! A couple more fish there. Just throw it in. And this fish. Good job guys. Good job. Woohoo! <laughs> and that's it for Treasure Times Cruising for this week. We'll see you next week. <laughs>